Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Why do some states have more representatives? The U.S. Congress is divided into two main branches, the Senate and the House of Representatives. Each of these branches has a distinct way of representing the states. In the Senate, each state has an equal number of representatives, regardless of its population. There are 100 U.S. Senators, with each state having two Senators who serve six-year terms. The House of Representatives, however, operates differently. The number of representatives for each state is determined by its population. This is outlined in Article 1, Section 2 of the Constitution, which states that each state shall have at least one U.S. representative, with the total number of representatives being proportionate to the state's population. The process of determining the number of representatives for each state is called apportionment. This process occurs every 10 years following a national census, as required by the Constitution. After the census results are provided, the Clerk of the House informs each state's governor how many seats the state is entitled to. The total number of voting members in the House of Representatives is fixed at 435, a number set by law in 1911. This number has remained constant, although the distribution of these seats among the states can change after each census. For example, after the 2020 census, some states gained seats while others lost them. States with larger populations, such as Texas and California, have more representatives because they have more people. In contrast, states with smaller populations, like Wyoming and Vermont, have fewer representatives. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.